circle when the section plane is parallel to the base and perpendicular to the axis of the cone we can get a circle as the section and cuts all the generators of the cone we can get ellipse as the conic section application of semi ellipse the semi elliptical profile finds application in the design of suspension bridges parallel to one of the extreme generators of the cone we can get a parabola as the conic section application of parabola the conic section parabola finds application in the design of sound and light reflectors application of parabola parabolic profile is used in the design of light reflectors hyperbola when the section plane cuts both the parts of the double cone on one side of the axis we can get a hyperbola as the conic section application of hyperbola the conic section hyperbola finds application in the design of dish antenna conic sections conic sections are the sections obtained by cutting a right circular cone with the help of a section plane in different positions with respect to the axis of the cone accordingly we can get circle ellipse parabola hyperbola construction of ellipse by eccentricity method draw the directrix ab and the axis cd mark the focus f along the axis at 50 mm from the directrix ab divide cf into five equal parts and mark the third division from the directrix as vertex v draw a vertical line through the vertex and on it get e such that ve is equal to vf join ce and extend it mark division points 1 2 3 4 etc on cd and draw perpendiculars through 1 2 3 etc to get 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash etc now with 1 1 dash as radius and f as center cut points p1 p1 dash on the perpendicular line drawn through 1 
repeat the above step and get all the other points. Join the points in proper sequence with a smooth curve. Tangent and normal. Mark any point P on the curve. Join PF and draw FQ perpendicular to PF. Join QP and extend to get the tangent. Draw the normal MN perpendicular to the tangent. Ellipse by arc of circles method. Draw a line AB equal to the major axis of the ellipse and a line CD equal to minor axis of the ellipse such that AB and CD bisect each other at O. With C as center and radius equal to half of AB that is AO, draw two arcs cutting AB at F1 and F2. F1 and F2 are the foci of the ellipse. Mark a number of random points 1, 2, 3 on AB. Now consider point 1. With centers F1 and F2 and radius equal to A1, draw arcs on both sides of the major axis AB. Now with the same centers F1 and F2 and radius equal to B1, draw arcs intersecting the previously drawn arcs at four points marked B1. In the same manner, considering the other points 2, 3 etc with radius A2, B2 and A3, B3 etc get more points P2, P3 etc. Draw a smooth curve through the obtained points so as to get the required ellipse. Construction of ellipse by concentric circles method. Draw a circle with O as center and major axis AB of dimension 80 mm as diameter. Draw another circle with O as center and minor axis 40 mm as diameter. Divide the major axis circle into 12 equal parts and mark the points as 1, 2, 3, etc. Draw lines joining these points with center O, intersecting the minor axis circle at 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, etc. From point 1 dash on the major axis circle, draw a line parallel to line AB and draw a line from 1 parallel to CD intersecting each other at 1 1. Follow the same from points 2, 3, 4 etc and 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash etc and get the points 2 1, 3 1, 4 1 etc. Now join 1 1, 2 1, 3 1 etc by freehand the curve obtained is an ellipse.